Well, at this hour, two East Valley students face felony charges for making threats to harm students who identify as LGBTQ. Crime 2's Kyle Simchuk joining us now in the studio tonight, looking more into that investigation and the local reaction. Kyle. Well, these threats were taken very seriously. Two teens were arrested in the middle of the night and out of an abundance of caution, the East Valley School District closed all schools today. The superintendent called the intolerance and hate horrific. He says it has no place in the district. The Spokane County Sheriff's Office says the threats against LGBTQ students, along with statements and depictions of firearms, were mentioned in a group chat on Snapchat. The district and authorities were first notified around 1045 Thursday night. Within hours, deputies served search warrants at the teens' homes. They were arrested and expelled from the East Valley School District. I hope that, that our students know that there are people who are actively working um, to keep them safe, um, who are actively working to ensure that, uh, that every experience that they have um, leads them to know that they are loved. Esteban Jarevia is the former president of Spokane Pride. He says threats against the LGBTQ community is nothing new, but it's important these incidents get reported. But at the end of the day, everybody wants to feel loved. They want to feel safe. They want the ability to live and to live fully. And, and uh, I, think, I think it's very sad because we do know that uh, just as much as love happens in the home first, so does hate. At this point, the two students face charges of threats to bomb or injure property, a felony. The sheriff's office says since none of the potential victims were aware of the threats, they don't meet the elements of a hate crime charge. Deputies say a third teen suspect's been identified but not yet contacted as he's currently out of the state. Additional charges and arrests are possible. In a statement to parents, East Valley Superintendent Brian Talbot said in part, the intolerance, ignorance, and hate that sometimes comes to and through the schoolhouse doors is horrific at best. It is the same hate, intolerance, and ignorance displayed throughout society on any given day. Talbot went on to say the incident does not define East Valley, nor does it have a place in it. And the sheriff's office says hate against any group will not be tolerated. They're asking parents to talk with their kids and remind them that comments or threats they make online have real-world consequences, which could result in their arrest. Cody.